And how long have you been following the Robins? Uh, about 20 years or so. Oh, okay. um, so I've been coming since I was about 11 uh, with my brother uh, and my dad. Um, yeah, so we've seen all sort of all, all types of uh, football down here. It's quite exciting football to watch now. What I can say is, Peter, sometimes we pay better than Brazil and, 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 and the Premiership. You're, so you're, it's past, you're past the feed, um, Mikel Miller, which we have captured on film because Chris has captured that brilliant goal in the Robins film with that pass. It unsurpassed the pass of the season for me. Absolutely genius, Peter. Thank you for taking us on the journey.
Sullivan.
And this is John Kissner for Robins TV. Uh, after today's uh, win, Carshaw and Athletic 5, Mosey 0. Um, very good re uh, result for the Robins. And I have with me Chris and Simon. And uh, what did you make of the game today, Chris? Yeah, it was very exciting. Um, the football um, was quite fast flowing and the passing was really good. Um, we seem to miss Peter in the middle a little bit, but I guess that was just like for a rest. He was just having a rest today, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's good to increase the goal difference or yeah. try and reduce it a little bit. And how long have you been you following the Robins? Uh, about 20 years or so. Oh, okay. um, so I've been coming since I was about 11 uh, with my brother uh, and my dad. Um, yeah, so we've seen all sort of all, all types of uh, football down here from the long ball, and it's quite exciting football to watch now. Simon, Tony Shu, what do you think of the game today? I thought it was very exciting, as Chris said. Uh, it's good to get good to come down here and see like I score a lot of goals. Mm -hmm. cause it's quite exciting to see like goals and stuff. And as Chris said, I think that that be that would help our goal difference and everything. And yeah, it's good, good game, good game. Because yeah, we're still in third position. Um, yep. Crenton Casuals won today, two one. Thamesmead scored in the 90th minute. Paul Vines. Right, okay. But uh, goal difference could be important at the moment with the games in hand. If we can do well, yep. could be an automatic playoff place. Lewis won today. Yeah. Um, who else? Greenwich Borough won today, and uh, Craig Wanderers lost at Hythe two one. So yeah, I think Craig, Craig Wanderers on a bit of a downturn at the minute. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I definitely think it's, it's quite tight at the top. But I think you know if we just keep playing like we did today, then I think we've got a, a winning opportunity to get into the, the playoffs, which Absolutely. would be great. So yeah. yeah. How long have you been following the Robins then, Simon? Same as my brother Chris, twenty years. Um, with Danny as like small kids or like knee high to a grasshopper. My dad used to bring us down and yeah, it's great. Great, great little club. And I have with me Ahmet, who's the assistant manager Hi, at Mosey. Hi to you, Ahmet. How are you doing, John? You uh, right? Yeah, fine. And what do you make of the game today? What do you think of it? Um, it frustrating. Frustrating. I think um, first half we we set our store out to make it difficult for Cole Short and we know what they're capable of playing on this pitch. Um, we're not the only side that's probably come here and you know took, taken a bit of a beating today uh, in terms of the result. Mm -hmm. but in terms of the performance collectively from the team, the endeavour and the energy levels were yeah. fantastic. Yeah. I just think the first half probably killed us in terms of there were some uh, individual errors mm -hmm. and I think obviously Cole Short and yeah. uh, killed us with those mistakes and obviously we've gone down half time. But, for but I thought the first 15-20 minutes you you, yeah. you were really in the game, yeah. you started very strongly. Yeah I, I think that's it, I think where um, Thursday uh, we worked on a bit of shape in, in, in relation to kind of make it as difficult as we can, you know we mm -hmm. sat off Cole Short not always going to have possession of the ball yeah. um, against many teams here mm -hmm. um, and we conceded possession and that was obviously by, by four um, but we, we, we have, like you said 15-20 minutes we was in the game I think as soon as the first goal has gone and it's an individual mistake and then another one another individual mistake where we're giving the ball away in midfield I think with the results that we've had recently, we start losing a bit of confidence. So it's hard to come back from that in first I think half. Peter Adenai, uh, our manager, uh, what do you think of the game today, Peter? Um, very professional performance. Um, the boys went out there. They played really, really well. I mean, there was some nice passenger play. And I thought we done really well today. 5 0, a clean sheet as well, which is something that we definitely wanted today. So, really pleased with the performance and the effort put in by the boys. Yes, and we had a few new faces starting today, didn't we? We did. I mean, what we've got is a very, very strong squad, um, so I feel comfortable playing whichever team I believe is going to go out there and do the job required on the day. So, really nice to see some of the um, performance, like the likes of Ricky Caboa, um, looked a lot more like himself today. Tommy scoring two edit goals, the smallest man in the team with two edit goals was, again, really pleasing. And nice to have him back in the goals. Christy continues his performance, um, he started really well with us and you know, he's improving every game. Um, and the back four, stroke back five today, including the keeper, were absolutely magnificent. And I'm really pleased for them to keep a clean sheet because it's something that they deserved over the last few games and something that we really, really wanted. And yeah, really pleased that we managed to keep them out. I think it was 3 0 half time, wasn't it? Half -time, but half -time. I thought, again, coming out second half, you started very strongly. Yeah, yeah I think, listen, I, I give, you know, I, you know you, it's, it's a difficult, you always want to give the. You don't want to give the players credit when you when you get beat by that, yeah. but you know I'm always fair to my word in that. If it's a performance where we haven't worked hard, mm -hmm. we haven't tried, or we haven't competed, that you know they know how I'd come down on them. But the first 20 minutes, first half, or second half, 
we've shown that we, you know, we'll keep fighting to the end. I just think we've just been punished with the goals and yeah. we're playing against the top type. And top the mood in the dressing room after the game? Um, disappointed, if I'm honest. You know, I mean, we we, we lost to Greenwich Borough six one on um, mm. on Tuesday, just gone. So you know, to lose Jack, Jack Barr, I'm scoring a load. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, top striker. Um, so yeah, to, to lose six one and five nil, I didn't I didn't think today was a five nil loss, mm -hmm. if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. Three nil, three nil. I think we were kind of probably flattered cold short in the first half, if I'm yeah. honest. But they've taken their chances, and that's what you can do. Yeah, Chris, um, moving on, we got South Park probably Tuesday night, but we're not sure yet. Depends on whether their uh, pitch is up to it. How do you see that one going? And then we got uh, Ramsgate away. Uh, well, if we, get, uh, if we can get a result, maybe uh, I think South, South Park are sort of just below mid table, aren't they? So, yeah. so maybe if we can if we can sneak another couple of goals past them, uh, that will reduce the goal difference even more. Uh, and then Ramsgate, that's home, is it? Ramsgate away next Saturday. So it's going to be a difficult trip, um, but. Hopefully we can get a result and then uh, try and secure that second place uh, for automatic promotion. Uh, and I said to the boys, I said, look, we're not going to be measured at this time in the season against top sides in Cole Shorten. Mm -hmm. I said we'll be measured against top, top sides a little bit lower in the league. And I think if we can set our stall out the way we did first half against Cole Shorten, I'm confident we can get a result. So it's just about picking up the confidence now. And how's Christy Patterson? He came off, uh, obviously took a knock. Is, how's he after the game? No, he's fine. Um, I mean, all the boys that came off, um, they're fine. It's just a case of stage of the season we're at. Scoreline being where it was enabled us to be able to take off Cheeto, Christy and Tommy and obviously give some of the other boys a run out. Um, we're just trying to utilise the squad as best as we can um, for the rest of the season. So they're all fine. Everyone's good to go on Tuesday, should the game be on. Kralos, they're on a bit of a downer at the moment, aren't they? Um, we've only got to be concerned with ourselves. Um, pretty much our destiny is in our hands. We just got to keep winning our games. Um, obviously, it'll be helpful if other teams drop points, but whilst they're winning and we're winning, that's all we can do is win our games. And 11 games to go, just take one game at a time. Yeah, right yeah. attitude. Peter, your take on the game today? Yeah, again, I agree with the boss, really. At the end of the day, very professional performance. You can only beat what's in front of you when they turn up, the other teams. Um, and I think, yeah, I think it was a good all-round performance. Uh, a bit of a shout-out as well for people like Ryan Healy, mm -hmm. came in today, starting. Uh, I thought he had a good game for us. Uh, Christy Patterson took his goal well. I thought when he, you know, keeper came out, he could have done a number of things, could have gone round him. Good goal. Um, and I think it's important sometimes that you get goals in front and you try and control the game a little bit more. Um, I think in seasons gone past, sometimes you know we might have gone one one nil up. Now the team's coming to it a little bit more. All of a sudden they get a goal back, and then we're struggling with it a little bit more. But certainly this season, I think with the depth of squad that, that Peter's built down here, yeah. I think we've got a very good squad moving forward. Um, and certainly, you know, sometimes you've got to win ugly. We've, we've done it a few times, and sometimes you can go out today. And certainly, you know, for the amount of people that were here, very, very good all-round performance. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully they'll all come back to Colston Avenue again towards the end of the season. Yeah, I was uh, interviewing their assistant manager, Ahmed, and he, he felt we were clinical in front of goal today, which is great, because that's one of the things that perhaps we haven't been doing. Uh, don't you think, Russell? Yeah, we, 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 we normally can't put the ball in the back of the net sometimes in some of these games, and we only scrape through 1-2-1. One, one. But today was a 100% performance. Nobody, you couldn't, it's a very hard person to pick the man the match today because the whole team played from the back through the middle of the park up the front they all played 100% so yes a very impressive performance better than what we've done with lower ranked teams in our league where we slipped up against these Grinstead today we didn't slip up one far better performance 100% from the boys and the manager of course well what, going to talk about the manager what, what do you think of the manager so far is his attitude and approach to the game spot on or not Peter's Peter I adore Peter he's an, an unsurpassed a uh, player manager huge responsibilities uh, huge vision huge foresight it's a pleasure um, I just think Peter all all credit you can't can't take anything away from what we've done so far this season whatever the outcome and we're all hoping for the best but you are the top man and that's it I think sort of backing that up look at the attendances this season yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're up to about third in the league yeah. um, just lately with the the crowds are getting bigger I think they're really appreciating yeah. coming down here seeing great football not just the wins but really yeah. great football so well done Peter to you and the lads and to Keith as well who I congratulate you I think against Cray I think he's making a massive difference as well hasn't he 
Uh, yeah, Keith and um, Tony, the yeah. new goalkeeping yeah, yeah, coach, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, have added to us. Um, it's a joy being part of this. Um, it's a pleasure and I feel extremely proud to be part of this club and um, what we're doing at the moment is, is very pleasing. Um, and what we've got to do is just take one of my time. The crowd, fans have been fantastic. Um, it's amazing. They're the, they're the heartbeat of any community club. Um, we, we aim every game to please and hopefully give you guys something that you want to come back and watch over and over again. That's, that's my aim, that's the players aim, that's the coaching staff aim and we feel that if we entertain the crowd they'll want to come back so we always want to entertain.